Hello everyone, welcome back to Tidy Study YouTube channel. Google Form is a great data collection tool, but when it comes to dig deeper and take your data analysis to the next level, what is the best option that we have? Yes, that's where SPSS comes in. In this video, let me show you step by step on how to transfer and code your data from Google Form into SPSS through Microsoft Excel. Keep watching this video until the end. In this tutorial, I prepared a survey named chocolate satisfaction survey uh, this is a kind of customer satisfaction survey about a product and i use chocolate here as the example and i made two sections of the question the first section is about the identity of the respondent we have name gender and age question in the second section, I have prepared a question related to the customer satisfactions regarding the quality of the chocolate products they have tested. Each question is measured by answers using a Likert scale. The smaller the responders' answer choices, the more dissatisfied they are with the chocolate. The greater the number of responder answers, the more satisfied they are with the quality of the chocolate. You can see here, the one is for very dissatisfied and 5 is for very satisfied. You can see the first question is about the overall taste of the chocolate product. The second question is about the texture. The next question is about the smell, the packaging, the chocolate price, the crunchiness level, and the consistency of the chocolate. And the last question is about the comparison of the chocolate product into another chocolate products. On the responses tab, you can see the number 30, which means this is the number of respondents who gave answers to this questionnaire. And if you click on this tab, you will see all respondents' answers to each question. At the name section, we can see the names of the people who responded to the survey. Then, below it, at the gender section, there is a pie chart which visualizes the gender percentage which gives the answers. As you can see, 63.3% of our respondents are female, meanwhile, 36.7% of our respondents are male. Next, in the age section, we can see a bar chart of the age distribution of our respondents, starting from 19 years old to 34 years old. At the end section, we can see a recapitulation of the answers from each respondent to each question in our questionnaire. We can see that Google Forms also visualize the respondents' answers in the form of bar graph. Here, we can see the respondents' answer for each option that we have provided. The first step of transferring this Google Forms data into SPSS is by opening this file in Google Sheets. How to do this? You can see we have few insights option here that is provided by Google Forms. Just click it and Google Forms will automatically transfer this file into Google Sheets. Great, now your data is already imported into Google Sheets. We can see the whole variable is loaded into this Google Sheets file. We have the timestamp, which is the time when the respondent filled the survey, the name variable, the gender, age, and also the answers to each question that we have provided in the questionnaire. And the next step is we need to transfer this data into Microsoft Excel. To transfer this data into Microsoft Excel, we just need to download it. Go to the left top of your screen, go to File, Download, and then select Microsoft Excel. At the Download tab, you can see this file is already downloaded into your storage. Just open it and will automatically open the file in Microsoft Excel. Congratulations, now your data is successfully imported into Microsoft Excel. And as you can see, Microsoft Excel imported all questions that we have in the Google Forms. You can see we have timestamp variable, name variable, gender variable, and also the age variable. For the question sections, you can also see the all questions are imported automatically in full and become the columns heading for the respondent answers. Now, our task is to clean the data as well as modify the variable names 
so that they are more concise and easy to recognize. Well, it's uncomfortable to see if we have a long variable's name like here. And let's check the first question that we have here. How satisfied are you with the overall taste of the chocolate product? We can change the variable's name here to taste without changing the real meaning of the variable. And you can repeat this process for the all variables that you have. Let's change this into texture. Oh, for, this, for the third question, smell, packaging, and price, a crunchiness. Oh, sorry, let's let's wrap text. Okay, uh, and consistency. Uh, comparison. Okay, now we are shorting and cleaning our variables name into a more concise name without. Uh, changing the real meaning and let's uh, tidy up our questionnaire here and after this process if you have categorical variables in your worksheet you need to code the variable into numeric form so it will be easier for us to import this data into SPSS letter you can see we have gender variable here and let's cut this variable into a numeric form such as a one for male and two for female to do this just click the column in the categorical variable after that press ctrl f we will use find and replace to change uh, the categorical name into a specific code and first let's replace the label that is the longest and has the same words as the shorter label because if you replace the shorter variable first this is what happened if we change the male into one let's say one you will also change the female into v1 okay that's why you need to change the longest a variables name first and let's undo this process and I'll click uh, the control F again and then let's find female and replace it with two okay replace all great now let's change uh, the male into one Congratulations, your gender variable is already coded into 1 and 2. And let's delete these two variables, the timestamp and the name, because we don't need it in further analysis. Delete it. Great. Now, your Google Form data is perfectly imported and coded into Microsoft Excel and this data is ready to be analyzed now let's try to import this data into spss the first thing that we must do is saving this file in the storage so we'll use the latest version here let's just save it into the desktop to make it easier for us and then open the spss application go to the left top of the screen click file import data and then select example great select the location where you save the file and then i'll just click the chocolate satisfaction survey here click open and spss will show you the read excel file dialog box you can do some modifications here but i prefer to do it in the variable and data view window and then click OK. Great. Now your data from Microsoft Excel is perfectly imported into SPSS. You can see we have gender, age, taste, 
and more variables here completely and after importing it our job is to fill in the variable view especially in the label field and the values field so it will be easier for us to do the further analysis especially for the categorical variable and the Likert scale variable great now let's fill the values field for the gender variable one for male and two for female next let's give the label for all variables select the variable name in the name field like this press ctrl c and then select all field in the labels uh, column like this and then press ctrl v after that let's define the values for categorical and record scale data for Likert scale data it hasn't been identified or coded properly so we need to type the code one by one here i made the code index for all questions that i have in this questionnaire especially in the satisfaction level one for very dissatisfied two for dissatisfied three for neutral four for satisfied and five for very satisfied and we will transfer this code for the whole Likert scale questions you can do this easily okay let's start with this question because this is the Likert scale measurement click the three dots and let's define it one by one one for very dissatisfied two for dissatisfied three for neutral and four for satisfied and five for very satisfied like this click add and then don't forget to click ok great now we can copy these measurements for the all variable especially for the Likert scale variable right click here and then click copy after that select the area or the field where we want to paste these uh, measurements right click and then click paste so you don't have to type one by one the same measurements for your variables and then don't forget to change the measure to ordinal because most of our questions are in ordinal measurement okay now your data is coded and imported perfectly from google form into spss and let's do a simple analysis to prove that this data is ready to be analyzed go to analyze descriptive statistics and then select descriptives let's just do the descriptive statistics analysis here select the all questions here especially for the section 2 questions move it to the variables box and then select options here let's just show the mean and the sum at the output table click continue and then click ok great now we have the output for the descriptive statistics table for all questions in the section 2 of our questionnaire we see that the sum of the variable one is 115 the mean is 3.83 for the texture is 111 and the mean is 3.70 and so on you can do more of course because uh, the analysis is not as simple as I show in this video but for the process to import the data from Google form into SPSS is done you can do the further analysis starts from here that's it see you in another video